Okay, so let's have our next topic about SI prefixes. So prefixes are added to SI units if numerical value of the physical quantity is too large or too small. So in here, we will be converting SI prefixes to SI prefixes or unit to SI prefixes or pre prefixes to units. So we will be just recalling, recalling the one that you have discussed in your chemistry one. So let's have an example. Okay, let's have here, let's convert, let's try converting 10 meters to picometers. Here, 10 meters times. Let's have the numerator and denominator. So let's have here the uh, required, always put it in the numerator and the given below or in the denominator. Then always put one here above or put in, uh, the one sa may mga prefixes and the value here below. So what is the value of pico? It's 10 raised to negative 12. So there, so let's have, so don't forget to cancel the units, so cancel meter. So the answer must be 1.0 times 10 raised to 13. So there. And don't forget the unit, which is the pico meters. And also, I will be showing you on how the shortcut method uh, without using the calculator. So first thing that you will be doing, let's have first this um, given. Let's convert this one to a scientific notation by moving the decimal point to the left. So there, so magiging 1.0 times 10 raised to the exponent, this, uh, paano natin kukunin yung exponent? Kung ilan beses mo minove yung decimal point. So, since once lang natin na move, so magiging 1 yung exponent niya dito. So, let's have here 1. So, always subtract the exponent of the given minus, let's subtract that 1 to the um, value, the exponent of the value of the prefix. So, minus the, val the exponent of our prefix is negative 12. So, 1 minus negative 12, since negative times negative would be positive, so 1 plus 12 is 13. So, first na gagawin natin, so copy lang yung 1.0, iyan yung ilalagay natin dito, times 10 raised to the one that you have solved here in the exponent. So, yun yung magiging sagot. So, there. So, let's have another example. Okay, let's have another example. So, let's try grams. So, let's try grams to, let's convert that one to centigrams. There. So, let's copy the given 19 grams. So, times the numerator and the denominator. So, numerator, the given, uh, the required, I mean centigrams, and the denominator, the grams. Next, always put uh, 1 on the prefix, then the value here below. The value of centi is 10 raised to negative 2. So, don't forget to cancel the unit grams. So, the answer must be 1.9 times 10 raised to 3. So, there. Grams. Or... It is 1,900 grams. So, there. so for the shortcut, we will just be um, getting the scientific notation of our given. So let's move this one, one decimal point only. So 1.9 times 10 raised to 10, I raised to 1. So 1.9 times 10 raised to one. So, get lang natin yung exponent dito. So, 1. Then, let's subtract the value of the um, prefix, which is negative 2. 
So, 1 minus negative 2 since negative is, times negative is positive. So, 1 plus 2 is 3. So, there you have it. So, copy lang natin itong 1.9 doon times 10 then the exponent na nasolve natin dito. So, times 3. So, there. Okay, let's have uh, another sample. Let's try three digit naman siya. Let's try three digit. So, we have 365. Let's try this one. Um, meters. Let's try converting that one to tera meters. So, tera meters. So, let's just copy 365. Let's have the numerator and denominator again. So here, the numerator is terameter. Then the, uh, the uh, meter in the denominator. So always put 1 on the prefixes. Then the value below, which is the value of tera is 10 raised to 12. So there. So the answer must be 3.65. 3.65, sorry for my writing, times 10 raised to negative 10. So, negative 10 terameters. So, don't forget to cancel the units again. So, there. So, for the shortcut method, let's convert this um, given to a scientific notation. So, let's move the decimal point twice. So, 3.65. So, let's have 3.65 times 10. Raise 2. So, how many times we move the decimal point to the left? 2. So, there. So, kunin lang natin yung 2, the exponent. 2. Subtract natin with the value of the um, exponent of the prefix, which is 12. So, here, positive 12. So, 2 minus 12 since 2 is um, less than 12. So, magiging negative 10. So, there. So, kunin mo lang to. I-copy mo lang yung 365 there. Th times 10 raised to negative 10. So, there. Tera meters. So, we're done. So, there. <laughs>